Gardens are never perfect, but gardening is never a waste of time. you're going to be in big trouble if Wendy sees you. I'm just saying. Don't do that. Be, be a better goat. Stop eating the apple tree too. Look at this tomato. Obviously, it's a little spoiled, but it's very, very colorful. We've got red, yellow, and green all at the same time. We've had a few more nice ripe tomatoes lately. Wendy has been chopping them up, and with just a little salt, pepper, and just a little olive oil, they make a great, refreshing summer treat. You'll have to forgive me. I'm taking it easy on my back for the rest of the day. I overdid it a little bit with the chipping and shredding out here. You know how it goes. You just want to get a lot done and you just end up pushing yourself a little too hard. I'm sure I'll be fine in just a few days. I did get all caught up on the chipping and shredding though. Over here, we have a few more spoiled vegetables. These cucumbers obviously went bad and we didn't get enough cucumbers to really do the pickles that we wanted this year. Gardens are never perfect, but gardening is never a waste of time. These aren't any good for us, but they will be good for our chickens.
I've got some video from the other day of tree removal from our doe pen. This is probably a good point in the video to show that. A few videos back, I showed the radical transformation of our buck pen. The goats killed off the trees by eating the bark around the trunk. Well, the does over here in this area have been busy too. Eventually, all of these little trees over here are going to be gone. I had wanted to protect this one. As you can see, the fence is pretty smashed up. During the February storm, another tree hit it, and now it's definitely leaning right over the house. So eventually, this one's gonna have to go too. My plan is to take these trees out just a little bit at a time. That way, the goats out here can enjoy the unexpected bounty that falls into the lap on more than one occasion.
one of our rabbits was being very bad yesterday. This little black bunny somehow knocked his cage off of the pedestal and got out. Catching a rabbit is not easy. Wendy was a little late with her chores and she didn't want to interrupt milking our goats to help me catch him. And he was a little too fast for me to catch on my own. Now usually, if rabbits get out, they'll stick right around the area. Oftentimes they like it over here where they can hide in, our, in the middle of our forest circle driveway turnaround. Anyway, I chased him all over out here. Finally, I think he just wanted to be caught and put back in his cage. He hopped over here, right into this little cubbyhole house vent and was pretty easy for me to just to pick up at that point. Now, I've got the cage more securely bungee corded down. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our channel. Cheers.